Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 12th of June for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you some standout details that we can all collectively relate to, but please stay with me. I will explore in much greater detail all the ins and outs of each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. This is very much a community. If you have any ideas or thoughts, please share them. I try to interact with most. And also, if you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the subscription link underneath this video. Now this week sees a battle between the senses of logic and emotion. The logic comes from the fact that the Sun is in the sign of Gemini, but was joined late last week by Mercury, the ruler of this sign. This probably is going to see a speeding up in the way we do share information, but both Saturn and Neptune are in house 12, the sign of Pisces, which of course is watery. So we've got the watery energies and restrictive vibe of Saturn applying to the logic and air of the Sun and Mercury in Gemini. So what does this mean? Well, essentially, because Saturn uh, is influencing Mercury, it's possible that our nervous systems can be a little bit uh, uh, more limited. We may not have quite as much physical energy as we'd like. Could feel more easily weary, stressed. But the Sun's clash with Neptune can be very draining, but also rather disorientating. It's possible that past energies or past events, because Pisces is the sign of culmination, can somehow inform our viewpoints in the here and now or those of the people that we encounter. I don't think that this is the best of weeks to be showing any sensitive or confidential issues with people we don't know very well. Social media in general can seem quite overwhelming and quite draining too. So the best thing that we can do is stay very much in touch with what our more perceptive, emotional and psychological senses are trying to tell us and don't relate too quickly through our responses with the Sun and Mercury in the sign of Gemini. Now, please stay with me for your individual zodiac sign. However, if you would like to ascend above your horoscope forecast and embrace the wonder of more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I will provide for you your life roadmap report. This will give you a much more intimate understanding of the patterns of influence that have played out in your life so far. In my special package of 30% off, you can also get your 12 month personal forecast. Please see the link beneath this video for more information on this and to order. If you don't know your time, you can buy my solar package, also the life roadmap and the forecast, and also with 30% off by seeing the link beneath this video too. So Libra, your week commencing the 12th of June forecast can see you in the mood to break out, be more spontaneous, do some more independent uh, pursuits, be a bit more adventurous, book a holiday or a vacation, or actually just go and do something completely different. And because Venus and Mars are in your sector of friendship, and Venus is aligning so brilliantly with Mercury, the planet of communication, it can be very uplifting if you can connect with people who really share your ideals or are friendly in the way that you feel very relaxed around, and that can be a lovely thing to pursue. The problem is that both Saturn and Neptune in your sector of obligations, responsibility, work, and physical vitality well, they're blocking the energy of Mercury and the Sun and then the new moon, which occurs at the end of this week. Saturn's even in a tense angle to your ruler, Venus. So it could be that someone around you is a bit, a bit of a, a nitpicker or 
could try to in some ways uh, stop this desire you have to be more free spirited reminding you of something that you've previously agreed to and a little bit of goodwill could uh, even this out and give you the space to have this breakout moment so I feel that some kind of snag is possible just when you want to do uh, uh, what you need to do for yourself but unfortunately when it comes to your work and your physical vitality because Saturn does go into a retrograde on uh, Saturday through to the 4th of November those are areas which you're not necessarily going to have a surplus of vitality and demands can continue to be quite high so if you are trying to do something more in the moment it may require quite a lot of planning and care and attention to detail rather than being utterly spontaneous which is what i feel your heart may want to to be this week mm -hmm.